All right, Scott, we got our thin set and our mortar. It's ready to be applied to the floor. Is there a special kind of mortar we're using since it's going over the top? Yeah, it's a polymer thin set is what this is, Gary, and all that means is there's little plastic bits in there. So it gives you a little flex. Right, it's like caulking almost. It's a little flexible, what you want on a floor like this, because it may give a little bit, and right. this will be more forgiving. That's what you want. I mix this stuff up with water to, to directions. You want it to look like peanut butter or oatmeal. And then all you can do is just glop it down. And I like to work, and you want to work in... Um, one row at a time. You don't want to spread the whole floor out. Right. And then uh, you're going to run into problems. So go 12 inches at a time because that's the width of our tile. And the type of tile you're using is very important. Yeah, uh, exactly. For a 12 inch tile like this, you want a quarter inch by three eighths by quarter inch uh, trowel. And um, all that means is these are the gaps here. Those notches those, those are important. Because right. that's going to create a little bit of suction to set the tile. Yeah, tires. absolutely. If people think it's just um, the adhesive itself, I mean, that's true, but. What you're doing is when you push the tile down, you're creating a vacuum right. there, and it's actually sucking it down to the floor. So notice I'm keeping it on a 45-degree angle, and that's important because you want those ridges. And the other thing, too, is when you're mixing the stuff up, you don't want it too dry, and you don't want it uh, too wet because you want those ridges to stand up like peanut butter. And now that I got that down, okay, I can lay a tile. So I'll, take my, I'll start with my cut tile. I've got the cut edge that I snapped. That goes against I'll put it underneath, the and then there's a finished edge on there, the factory edge that I want on the outside. Okay. So what I'll do is, when I lay this thing down, the other thing I want to do, too, is I want to do something called back buttering. Okay. And again, using the and same what I'm doing trial. Is, same yeah, order. and I just want to, what I want to do is, you see those little ridges there? Basically, what I do is use the flat side of this thing and put a little on the back. And the reason you want to do that is it really helps create a nice, good bond to where you're walking. And once that's on there, that tile's not going anywhere. Okay? So I rake that off. Now I take this, and I put the cut edge against the vanity. The vanity. I'm going to pull it back. Now, when you're making your cut, too, remember to allow for the spacing. So you don't want to make it an exact. That's cut. where we're going to fill it with the grouting. Correct. And what I'm going to do now, Gary, is I'm not going to push it in there. You don't want to wiggle it. You want to go flat, straight down, and just a little bit of pressure to create that suction we're talking about with the, uh, sure. with the quarter inch cut. There we go. All right, and then we come back with our following trowel, or how do we get that spacing in there? Well, what you're going to do is, let me lay another tile here, and I'll show you, since we got a good ridge there. Okay, that looks good. Back Next butter. We're going to back butter a little butter. bit here. Use the flat, I'm going to use the flat edge of that to just really get down in there. Kind of like, uh, you know what this is like? This is like butter and those English muffins are like There you go. <laughs> Yeah, it's nothing to be scared of. You just gotta work with it, and, get it yeah, semi-smooth. This is really something, you know, if you got a weekend, you easily, if, you, if you've never even done it before, you could easily knock this out in a weekend. It won't sure. be a problem at all. So I'm gonna take this tile now, and I'm gonna layer down. And again, I'm gonna move straight down and drop it into place. I'm gonna add a little bit of pressure, make sure it's grabbing. And then I wanna check and make sure it's also even with the other tile so you're not catching your toe on there. But that's a good, solid bond. Now, let me show you the spacers here. Okay, in this case, I'm gonna go with a eighth, one eighth inch space. And a tile like that, I think the four, and there's the other thing too, is you can play, you know, if you want a bigger gap, wider gap, you don't really wanna go anything over uh, a little bit bigger because then you're different kinds of grouts and stuff. I agree, I agree. Things. I think you're using a good yeah. size. And remember that the bigger the grout line, the more dirt, the more right, it gets trapped right. in there. So. so I'll take this. It looks like a little plus mark. Okay. And I'll wiggle it right in there. And that gives you the uniformity mm -hmm. of that grout line. Right. Okay, the other thing I like to do, sometimes you get some some uh, grout that's popping up. And all you need to do there is just use this Girl. little thing in there, wipe it back on the floor. Same thing here if you got a little bit of that stuff. Don't worry about the stuff that's drying on the tile too much unless you have a lot. Because once it dries, it'll wipe right up. If this is a nice ceramic tile, it's glazed, so sure. you can, no problem. Same thing here, you can put a spacer like that. You can get all fancy and put them in here if you want. You know, these are pretty cheap. They're only a couple bucks for about 100 Sure, them. And that just keeps things stabilized. Well, I'll let you keep going. After you put this in, of course, we'd come back and we would actually grout it. How long would you let that dry before you apply the grout? About 24 hours is fine. All right. You want to get all that moisture out of there. You mix up your grout according to package directions, and you just slop it over the top, clean it up. It's kind of messy, but boy, when it's done, Gary, it looks great. Well, Scott, great job. It looks outstanding. You know, so many homes, they just have that vinyl tile. Now the ceramic tile really kind of increases the value of the home. Absolutely. You get more bang for the buck. You know, uh, your realtor will tell you, you put ceramic tile in over vinyl, that's going to add so much. And you know what? It's a, it's a good weekend project, you know? Well, what'd that end up costing you? 
do that? Whole about one hundred and fifty dollars. One hundred and fifty bucks, yeah. and you did it in a weekend. You can do it in a weekend. You lay the towel one day, and then the next day you're grouting, and you're pretty much done. Well, it certainly looks good. Great job. Thank a you. A project most people could tackle themselves Absolutely. as long as they can get on their knees. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, if you're broke down like <clears throat> some people here, yeah. then you hire people like me to do it. But for most of us out there, you know what? It's a great weekend project. Sure. It's fun, and you know what? You have a sense of accomplishment. But the more important thing is, looks great, adds value. Certainly does. Of course, you can listen to Scott on WLW Radio. Scott, thanks much for joining us. Thanks for coming here.